Hi everybody, this is Carrick with Angry Centaur Gaming, and welcome to a unique video. I don't necessarily know what to call it. Uh, when I, As I start this video, I just want to make a couple things clear. You know, I'm not affiliated with anybody small or large company-wise, uh, and I don't ever do sponsored videos, nor will I ever. Uh, I won't turn off my YouTube comments and uh, so that you can't get a hold of me, and I won't stop answering emails. And, you know, as the channel has grown... My original plan for the channels have slightly changed as well, or for the channel has changed as well. And due to, you know, people wanting specific things from the channel, we do less uh, Let's Plays and walkthroughs and so forth. And I just, I want to put it out there. Uh, of, of the almost 50,000 subscribers, we have approximately uh, 32 to 33 who support us on Patreon. And I want to say a special thank you to those people. Uh, but I also want to reach out today and just say... Uh, Without further assistance, I'm definitely going to have to start cutting out content from my reviews, uh, as in doing less of them. Uh, it's just over the time period, the expectation was to have a full-fledged channel with probably walkthroughs and Let's Plays and, and so forth. And as I've moved forward and, and the type of subscribers we've seen, it's been awesome. It's been one of those situations where it, the channel is more towards analysis, even the, the walk the walk we, uh, you know, I a analyze a game and then I explain what's going on graphically, but in layman's terms, in terms for people who just enjoy games to get, and not like a lot of YouTubers where they have all these special high-fangled stuff and it's all this super technical thing with no descriptions of what's going on. And I know a lot of YouTubers don't answer their emails and don't answer the YouTube comments, things that I hear about a lot. So I know that those things are probably the additional uh, steps that, you know, do end up slowing me up a little bit more than maybe another YouTuber who might just put out a video and move on. But I am at a point where I want to continue moving the channel forward, but I want to move it forward for consumers and for people who want the, uh, you know, the elevation of the discussion and the depth of the discussion to be uh, to be changed for gaming as a whole. And so I'm reaching out to everybody today to say, if you have a chance, please go to the patron and look at the patron. You know, for a dollar a month, a dollar a month, uh, you could help out. Uh, and if everybody, if all subscribers did a dollar a month, we'd be fine. We never have to talk about this again. I'm not expecting that. But if you get a chance, go. And I know the way people feel about donations, but I can tell you, you probably don't feel, you know, worse about them than I do. But it's one of those situations where, I look out at the field uh, of people flying everywhere. They're flying to different places and they're getting previews of games. And then 10 game companies did a preview and they all come back and they release their content. And it's the seven, same seven minutes of a game uh, where they all pretend they saw something different. And that's, you know, people subscribe for that. People pay them big bucks to go and, and do that. Uh, but they're all delivering the same kind of content. And that's one thing I wanted to do was go out there and deliver a, a, a unique sty style of content for my channel uh, that was a little bit different than that. And a little bit different than uh, the really terrible 1.2 page reviews I just recently saw for Witcher 3, a game that has around 200 hours of content. You know, we're talking about somebody who I've done uh, a review and then a re-review and then a, a, a re-look at a game in a, a walk the walk because the game has so much content in it. And I'm seeing major, you know, major places in, you know, industry standard companies doing 1.2 pages for a game like The Witcher where, uh, you know, it's obvious that the game is massive and requires more than that, more than that to review. It just does. And I'm going to continue to deliver that, but I'm going to deliver it at a, a, a much slower pace if I can't figure out a way to move forward. You know, YouTube pays nothing. Uh, I want to make sure that's clear because I think people, uh, you know, they're, they're wondering exactly, you know, how much a uh, video, you know, pays and stuff like that. Next to nothing, I'll just say that. Uh, it is, and certainly in uh, less than, yeah, many times uh, less than three digits. So... You're at a situation here where the games cost money and traveling costs money and so forth. So I canceled E3. I'm not going to E3. The reason why is because I feel that by not going to E3, I can easily deliver to you guys more reviews and, and so forth. So what I want you to do is really look at the channel and look at the content that you're getting from me. And if you don't agree with it, if you don't agree that I've found you a gym or warned you away from a game or given you some entertainment, you don't, don't donate. You know, obviously don't, or if you can't. But if I have, if I've done those things, if you feel like, man, you know, there would be a, a gap here if if Carrick wasn't giving out reviews, 
uh, then I would love for you to go to Patreon and help us out a little bit. We just need to continue moving forward until we can get the channel on its feet. And uh, at times it has been and at times it hasn't been. And really right now, especially because we have gone more towards the reviews and the analysis and so forth that people really like. Uh, and in discussions, we still do the occasional podcast, but trying to really get what the subscribers seem to go for, um, it, it's definitely made it so that it's a tiny bit more limited. And it would really help me personally if people could step forward who really like the content and you know give you know a couple bucks a month you know that the cost of a subscription and so forth and the reason why I bring all this up is because I'm seeing companies doing patreons I'm seeing people who are still work at companies in the game industry doing patreons and all this stuff and I'm just watching all this and they're releasing the same content and I the same kind of stuff that they've always released. There isn't any change. There isn't any closer to the fan base kind of situation where uh, I feel, at least on my channel currently, we are. You know, I do get to talk to people daily and I talk to them on email. I've seen people post where they're like, hey, thanks for answering my email or they've responded back to me. I answer to every, I answer everybody. I answer all the, you know, YouTube comments. I can, some I don't, but for the most part, I'm still always there. Reddit, different, different web pages, different forums and always posting off. And uh, it, it's strange that I see a lot going into these people, but I don't necessarily see anything other than perhaps nostalgia coming out of them. And what I mean by that is the same kind of thing coming out of them. That's not what Angry Centaur Gaming is about. It, the joke is even, the name is even a joke. You know, it's it's about changing the industry. It's about elevating the discussion. It's about moving the industry forward and making it liable, making it responsible, and uh, making the gamers, you know, maybe offering the gamers a little bit more power, but also elevating their education a little bit too, so that maybe not all the time they, they react so knee-jerk because they're expecting the worst uh, all the time and, and, and sort of moving towards that more healthy industry. So anyway, that's it for me. I just wanted to point it out. We have the patron. If you guys could look, now would be an absolutely amazing time for you guys to get behind uh, us. If you look, I've put some goals on there. I think they're really cool video uh, series that I want to start doing, not only the why, and uh, the walking the walk that I already do, but some ones where uh, industry vets that are out of the industry, which is sort of a area where not a lot of people are going, where I, I, am, I know some of those people and it's easier to actually interview them many times because they're a little bit freer to talk. And uh, some of the videos I have are some exposés on some things that go on within the, the gaming industry and, and get that out to you guys and really talk about it. So anyway, that's it for me. If you like the video, hit like. If you dislike to hit dislike, please check out the Patreon. If you can, I would totally appreciate it. It would help us continue going and help us continue to make content for you guys that I honestly think is actually fairly unique. So that's it for me. Peace out.